Hello, fellow floss tubers. It's Patty here with episode 186. Today is March the 28th, 2022. On today's show, I have whips, I have haul, and I have plans. So sit back and relax. Grab your beverage of choice. Water for me. Yum. Your craft of choice. And let's chat. So, how was everybody's week? Mine was really productive, let's say. On Thursday, I went and saw my mom. I had a moment of panic because as I got to her place, I started looking for my phone and couldn't find it. And I had already been to Safeway and to Fat Burger, so I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? So I dropped her food off, I talked to her for a few minutes, and I ran home because you have to start at the home base first to make sure you just didn't leave it there. Well, that's exactly what I did. It was sitting next to my chair. Uh, yeah. I usually do double check when I leave that I have my phone either in my pants pocket or in my jacket pocket, but I completely forgot. I guess I had too many things on my mind that of my steps that I had to do that day. So I, I forgot. I forgot. So... Um, yeah, that was my visit with my mom. Um, that was kind of sad, not visiting longer. Yeah, I will make it up to her this week and hang out with her a little bit longer this week. Um, on Saturday, the hubs and I took the full-size bed that was in the craft room downstairs to be stored because we're going to keep that bed for guests once the remodel is done we're turning the basement room into a guest room exercise room because it's a big room for just a bedroom um so we're gonna or you know some kind of but the guest room will be down there um so we took the full-size bed down we weren't sure if it was going to fit because a queen size bed would not go down there. Um, the mattress, of course, will go down because you can bend the mattresses and they go down really well, but a queen size um, box does not go down there. Uh, so yeah, the box spring didn't go down because uh, the eldest child lived with us for, uh, I think once he came back home once with him and his wife. So their bed was, they couldn't bring their bed with them. They had to store their mat or their box spring at her parents' house and put their mattress on the floor downstairs. So we, I, I measured, I was smart. I measured first and it went right down, no problem. Um, the hubs, he didn't think it went down, no problem because I do things, I'm, I'm go, go, go. He's more methodical and thinks and it drives me crazy when I wanna do something because he is methodical and thinks and I'm just like, let's go. Um, so we got that all moved out and um, so there's all this empty room and I moved the big armoire that used to hold all my yarn. I moved it back into this room on Sunday with the help of the middle child. I bought these uh, things you put under, they're sliders to put under uh, furniture to help you move them, and they do work. I was really surprised. I didn't think they were going to work, but they did. This uh, armoire is solid wood, very heavy. In fact, when I was moving it the last time, I got it stuck because it was so heavy, and there's transition between this room and the hallway carpet is... You, know, you can tell that there's a transition there. And I got stuck and had to climb over top of the armoire to get out of the room. So with those sliders though, pushed it right through, went through, it was wonderful. So yesterday we had a birthday party for my youngest son. And um, the littles were here and the littles parents and of course my youngest son and his wife and me and the hubs and we had a great time and I was in this room sometimes when the littles were playing with grandpa I came in here and I was able to fit all of my projects except for my started mirabilias that I do for monthly in that armoire in the top shelf 
And then the bottom shelf, I have all of my kitted up projects. So I'm ecstatic to have a place to put both of them so I can open the door up and I can decide by just sliding it out, looking at it. No, I don't want to do that one and I can put it away. So I'm really happy with how that is going to work because then it's got two drawers underneath. So one drawer has all of my bags and yeah, it's going to be great. The third, the or the last drawer, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but you never know. I don't know yet. So it's exciting. And uh, I have a dresser in this room that I'm going to put the yarn in. So the yarn is not going to be, it hasn't been displaced. It's it coming back up here. It's down in the basement. I just need to bring it back up here. And I just didn't feel like it <laughs> last night. I felt like stitching instead. So speaking of stitching, shall we get on with the stitching? I think so. So I had a problem last Monday after my video was done. I came into this room and I could not find Lady Mirabilia's pattern anywhere. So after looking for about a half an hour, I went, okay, I'm just going to, it'll turn up. It's all right. I'm not going to panic because it's in this room somewhere. I just, I know. So what I went ahead and did was I pulled out Turkish Delight by Rose, Rosewood Manor. I am stitching this on 32 count Stellar by Picture This Plus. And so, as you recall, C and L, so that was uh, Glacier Mist and Ver Verdigree don't show up well on this fabric. So what I did is I went ahead and I pulled the C and the L out. And I looked, first I looked online and ordered some floss from, who was that from? Color and Cotton, which I'll show you because it came in. But then I went and looked at my uh, Victoria Motto, Motto Samplings thread. So I went ahead and I pulled those. So the Desert Turquoise replaces the Verdigree and the um, Morning Sky replaces uh, mountain, no, glacier melt, glacier melt, I'm sorry. So those are the two colors and I think it turned out great. So I pulled out C and L and I re-put them in there. So now you can really see C and L is fairly well. So I went ahead and did D and E as well. So Monday was pretty a good stitch for this. I'm really happy because you can see it and you can really see the L a lot better than with the vertigree. So, and the C really pops off the page, which is what C does on the pattern. See, C and L really do pop off the pattern where the other colors are more in the background. In fact, if I could have found a little lighter green, that would have even been better. But I'm I'm fine with this screen. And I think it'll be good. So, and those are, I think those are like 20, 20 yard skeins. So, um, one of them needed 15 yards and the other one needed 10. So, it's definitely enough for, uh, to use those. Yay! Okay, what happened to the... I'll have to find it later. I lost the side. It's in my lap somewhere, I think. Or on the floor, or who knows. This chair has a tendency to eat things sometimes. <laughs> so, um, on my WIBGO board, this is finished but not called. But I'm still going to work on it. And I probably will even work on it when it's called. Because it is a fun stitch and I'm enjoying it. So Tuesday morning, I came back in here again and looked all over again and I found Lady Mirabilia's pattern. So I was able to work on her on Tuesday. And as I was sitting out there Tuesday, I made an executive decision and I have decided this is what she's going to look like. So this is Lady Mirabilia. She's going to be stitched on 32 count Haunted by Picture This Plus. 
and I am going to stop her dress right before uh, the celebration stuff that was on the bottom of the dress and put the border right here. So there'll be a border line underneath so it looks like, you know, her dress is cut off. Well, it's part of the border, so yeah. And this is what it'll look like. So there'll be the border coming here and going up and around and I'll do all the border. Um, yeah, so I'm happy about that decision because I really didn't like the bottom of it. I loved her dress. I loved the way she looked. I thought she was just gorgeous. But I just didn't like the bottom of this 25 year celebration. I will put the 25 because there's a 25 over here. And I will put that in as part of the border. I'll just bring it up and move it and put it on the bottom of her dress. So it will be a 25 year celebration piece for Mirabilia. It just won't say Mirabilia on the bottom. So, but that is where I'm at on her. Okay. And then, of course, I worked on Pringles by Little House Needleworks. And this one's being stitched on 30 count Parisian Gray by Access Commodities, which is the pulp for fabric. And I didn't get a whole lot done on this. Kind of put myself in a bind because I wanted to have at least both the sides. So this is the outside of the house here. So I wanted both of the brick done so that next week I could just put the, um, you know, I already have the white done so I can put in the next window. But it, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It's, it, some months are going to get a whole bunch of work and other months that they're, it's not. So I really need to put in a lot of work to catch up where I need to be. So here's that. And I am happy with it. It's it's a fun stitch. I just didn't feel like stitching on it. <laughs> I didn't feel like stitching a lot this week. You'll be able to see it in some of the projects. That, you know, I really didn't stitch very much at all in some of these projects. Okay, and then... I didn't feel like working on O Feathers, so O Feathers was put away until it was called for uh, Whip Go. But I did feel like working on And They Send, and this is from Velma Be Becklin, I believe is what her name is, and here it is. It's really hard to see even if it's not in plastic and you're looking right at it. This is And They Send. I'm stitching this on 36 count Edinburgh Linen Winter Moon. And I believe this is a Zweigart piece. So, um, what I did on this, I'm stitching this one over two. I went ahead and this is the edge. So this is how wide it's going to be. How long it's going to be is huge. <laughs> it is a huge piece, but I'm really jazzed about it. And I know I've talked to you guys before that I'm taking the alphabet and the numbers out. I think there's numbers too. Let me look again. Yeah, there's alphabet. There's the alphabet and numbers, but I'm just gonna remove those completely. Here is where we are at on And They Send. Yay! I am glad I worked on this. This was a lot of fun. Okay, wait. Oh, no, it doesn't go that way. It goes this way. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to put the wrong corners together. Didn't work well. Okay, and then I also, of course, worked on... Um, Fright Night, charted by Gecko Rouge, art by Lewis Johnson. And here, and it's on 25 count Easy Grid. And here's where we're at. And in the picture, I was working on this page here. And I got a page finish. 
Yes, a page finished. So I actually got three pages finished this month. But the first page was probably should have been finished in February <laughs> and probably would have. But here's the page I finished right there. So I like the, the uh, light over the door. That was a lot of fun to stitch. And there's a little gargoyle. I'm going to take this down so you can see the little gargoyle. There he is. In his eyes, there is a color green that only had four stitches. So there's only two left, which means he's probably over here in the other gargoyle. But I didn't look. But he's probably there. But here is where I'm at. Look at that. That little gargoyle. He's so cute. I'm going to leave it up here for a few. Because hopefully they'll pick that as my uh, picture. My picture this time. So, yay! I'm very happy with how much I got done this last week. And then on Saturday, I think I even got 700 stitches done. So that's exciting. Just keep on working. If I can get two pages done a month, it'd be perfect. Perfect. So that was all of the stitching this month, oh, this week. I got quite a bit done. So I think I will go to purchases. So as I said, I was looking for greens and then I went on to Color and Cotton and picked out three different greens to try on that pattern. And then I, I purchased them and then went, wait a minute, let's go look at Victorian Motto. <laughs> so I did that. But I got three avocado. And I think avocado would have been the color I picked. I think that one would have been the one that I decided that I wanted to put in there. But there's avocado. And then I picked up oregano because oregano is dark. It's a dark green. Kind of like that. And then I picked out primitive vines. So... Yeah. So I'm glad with these purchases because you always need greens and I can put more. I keep looking over there because um, my floss is hanging in the closet. I have put them on hoops and put the hoops through the uh, curtain rod or the, it's not a curtain rod, it's a, the rod you have in your closet. The hanging rod and I hung all of my yarn or all of my uh, thread there yesterday and that's going to work out well until they start remodeling and then I'm going to have to put it back in a plastic box because I don't want it to get dusty but for right now it's nice to look over there and see all this floss hanging there yay but I did also go on to Victorian model samplers oh what did I do with my glasses over here looking for a different green and that she had a kit of, she's calling me the Halloween Classics. So I went ahead and picked up her Halloween Classics. So I'll show you all lumped together. Oh, come on. You're hiding in the back. Quit hiding in the back. So here is that. So there is Halloween Moon. Wicked Witch. Let's see. Yeah, that one's more of a brownish black. Then we have Raven, which of course is just black. Nice. Uh, Sleepy Hollow Pumpkin. So it's a variegated. Yeah, see it's got that dark brownish orange. And then the other orange. Halloween Spirits. She's got a darker orange. There we go. And then the light orange. Haunted Pumpkin. Oh, look at that one. That one's beautiful. It's um really a red orange. And then Tombstone. Yep, nice gray. Classic Pumpkin. Nice orange there. And Haunted Graveyard. Uh, this one is a gray with lots of brown behind it so it's a really interesting color it's kind of hard to see especially against my shirt but 
yeah, I was really happy I found that. And I think she still had more. And if you want to look on Etsy, that's where I found it. But Halloween classics. So I'm going to be switching out some of that DMC on some of my projects for these colors. And I'll just dash these away because I have that tree one that I uh, want to... Uh, change out greens for so any greens I can get I do that all right so let me put these away okay and then plans so Jesse Marie gave us the whip go numbers which were number seven and ten and you'll never guess what number seven is never you'll never guess are you ready Lady Mirabilia. <laughs> so Lady Mirabilia is going to be worked on in April. I'm going to give her a two weeks wet rest because I only need two weeks more. After today, I'll only need two weeks more. So Lady Mirabilia will be coming out at the end of April to get her another two weeks done. And then four weeks oops, will be um, Autumn Dreams. And this is by Cottage Garden Samplings, I believe. And this one is being stitched on 36 Count Sanguine by Weeks Dye Works. And I will show you where we are going to start off on his, this one. So, I really hope that four days worth of work will get some really good progress on here. Does I have it upside down? Do I have it upside down? Yes, or sight. I had it wrong. It goes this way. <laughs> there we go. I thought that kind of looked weird. So, that is where it's at. And I do have enough room. I do have enough room on here. So, that is where this is at. <sighs> so, that is my plans. Oh, one more plan. Where is it? Oh, right here. And my Mirabilia for the month is Blossom Goddess. And I'm stitching Blossom Goddess on 32 count touch of yellow, I think is what it's called. This is the called for fabric. Touch of yellow. Yeah, so. And this is on Zweigart. So. Here is where she's at. So I'm not even halfway done. <laughs> not even halfway done. Because there is a lot of stitching down here. And I do like her full dress, so I will do the whole thing. So, But I am going to start looking at some of these. And if I want to cut them off, I'm going to cut them off. Uh, if I want to change it up, I'm going to change it up. It's my project, right? Great. Okay, so that was all for plans. Of course, my plans will be the same. Um, as for the Garon, I don't have that in here with me. Um, the Garon Stitchery Group Stitch Along, I don't have that particular I can't remember who it is, but I know I don't have it. It's Ink Circles. I'm sorry. It's Ink Circles. So if you want to stitch along with Garon, you can do that. Because I do not have any Ink Circles. I have Ink Circles. I just don't have any that I can work on. I have one that uh, I can... And I can't do no, no new starts, so I can't start a new one. So I will not be in on that one. Um... Looking around, I think that's it. Um, of course, I will be working on Kringles and I'll be working on Fright Night. Those are the two constants in my life. Until they're done. Yes. <laughs> I hope that you all, all are safe and happy and healthy. And I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>